All right, Maya, let's uh, get this data a different way than the link I sent you. So what we want to do is we want to go to census.gov. And from census.gov, we want to click on topics and then go to geography. And then we want to go over here to the left and click on geographies again. And we want to click on geography mapping files. So what we're going to do here, what this is going to allow us is going to kind of stop or we have to not do a couple steps, which makes this easier because we're going to be basically downloading uh, the block group shape file along with a bunch of uh, census data that will be easy to join to that uh, shape file. But the problem is, well, it's not a problem, uh, is the only data that year that's available with all the data is 2019. Yeah, there was a big boom of people moving here during COVID and whatnot. So we're going to kind of not capture those people. But for this project, uh, 2019 data is, is more than adequate. So if we click on 2019, we'll notice all this different data. But what we really want is this with some selected demographic and economic data. And some of this data might be beneficial for your analysis as well. So if we click on this, then we're going to do 2019. We're going to scroll down. And we can either, once again, do block groups or census tracts. Uh, block groups aggregated make census tracts. So census tract is a bigger geographic area than block groups. You can choose either one you want to use. We'll just go with block groups here. A little bit finer level of detail. So if we go to Idaho, you'll notice down here in the corner, downloaded, it's a zip file. So we got to make sure to, in order to use the data, we have to unzip it. So if you open this up, you'll notice this here and the dot GDB means this is a geodatabase. So you can just right click on this and copy it and then save it to your C drive. I already did that. So I opened up a um, ArcGIS Pro new pro project, um, and so we have all this stuff in here. So let me uh, get rid of some of this stuff here, and we can restart over. Um, so I have this kind of working folder for you here. So you're going to have to make it in your folders. You're going to have to add a folder connection. And you're going to have to navigate to wherever you saved your data and do that. I already did that. <clears throat> so if we go here, you'll notice that I opened up this. And <clears throat> here's this little silver canister, which is an icon for a geodatabase. You also notice the geodatabase because it says .gdb. So in here, you'll notice all this data that you downloaded. So the first thing we want to do is you'll notice that these little icons with the little lines and stuff. These mean they are tables. So there are no spatial information there. These are just attributes that can be joined to this shape file. And you notice this by the symbol. Um, it's a feature class. And we can drag this in. And that is all the block groups of Idaho. Um, the first thing you also notice is Idaho looks funny. It looks kind of squat. It's because it's not projected. You would have to project that. Um, the geographic coordinate system is uh, NAD83, so then you have to kind of come up with a, a projection on that. And then you're also going to want to go in and open up this attribute table. And you can find the counties here. So if we scroll in here and click on that, um, so I have to configure the pop-ups, but you got to figure out which is Ada County using uh, the county FP, which I think it's 16 or something like that. I can't remember. But in any case, you'll also notice here this GOID. This is going to be an important column. So here we have, we can add age and sex. So if we add this in, and it's just a table, it's a standalone table, so it does not have any kind of geographic representation yet. So if we open this up, we will see a couple of things. First, we'll see this GOID. 
And if we go back to here, we have this GeoID down here. This one, Geo Data. Notice how it has all this US, yada, yada, yada. This has all this US, yada, yada. So these are, even though the name of the column heading is different, the data in here is the same. So you are going to join the data based on this geo data and geo ID. The next thing you'll notice is a bunch of variable names that you have no clue what these things mean. So that is where this metadata comes in. And if you open this up, you will notice what each of these mean. So you're going to have to kind of delete a lot of these columns because you're only going to want probably total population and you're not interested in males, you're only interested in females. So then you're going to only, then you're just going to go in and delete all the males. And also you're going to delete any kind of uh, um, margin of error because margin of error is not important. Um, so you're just going to be left with uh, that. So once you figure out what columns you want to use, you can just kind of go in here and delete those columns and so forth. So that's going to take a while to clean up your data. You're also going to want to just select out Ada County. And then once you've selected just Ada County and the same with here, then you can or actually you can join it first. I would join it first, clean up your data in this thing, join it to this, then you'd have all of it home, and then you can just clip out uh, Ada County. So that'll kind of get you started, and then we can kind of go from there.